Onda može, može. Ajde, samo glas nije malo nek pričuje. Aha, možda Marin može pojačit. Evo, ja ću pričat. 1, 2, 3, bla, bla, bla. Ivana, slabo se čuje. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, moraš gledat tamo. Ovo ti je prezentacija. Jedan, dva, tri, četiri, pet, šest, sedam, osam, ili bolje? Is it better? Ok. It's not extremely loud, it's ok, but... Aha, ok. Then they will speak louder. Marin can put it louder. Ok, it's here. We don't hear you anything. Well, okay. Uh, I hope it's better now. Uh, hi all, my name is Drajan. Um, I'm here uh, to present the visual architecture alpha prototype in the name of my team. Um, so let's begin. Uh, first, I'd like to run you to, uh, through the project schedule. Um, we, we made some achievements. Um, uh, first of all, uh, the whole team uh, has at least a basic understanding of the technologies in use, and uh, we succeeded in creating like example hello world applications in them. Uh, after this achievement, we fully focused on uh, developing the alpha prototype, uh, which is not fully complete yet. Uh, it's still under construction, but it's about two thirds done. Um, this is this is uh, this has been anticipated since we're dealing with quite difficult technologies here, um, so, so we're still happy with this result. Um, the cost so far is 433 man-hours, uh, which is a bit less than, than the anticipated amount, but still within normal, I think. So let's remind ourselves uh, uh, of the theme of our project. Um, this is the, the architecture we had in mind after uh, defining the specifications. So. Uh, a lot of items here, but, but um, the core are these three parts, the design, where the teacher designs an architecture, editing, where a student inputs his programs, and uh, running and debugging. Um, uh, so far, this is what we achieved. So, so one, one, we, we've uh, split in two teams, and one te team attacked the problem from the east and one from the west. So uh, we hope to meet in the middle soon. Um, Yes, uh, we also uh, kept to our uh, designated uh, iterative development process. Uh, we, we only did the minimal uh, functionality necessary to get the, the whole pro project running. <laughs> so these are the uh, results. Um, the teacher can now uh, create create uh, visual architectures by dragging and dropping some graphical elements. He can connect them. He can add comments to further uh, explain the functionality. And the student, on the other hand, can uh, input his, his programs in a simple assembly language. Uh, we only added three commands so far, but we can add more later. And um, he has auto-completion, syntax highlighting. Uh, all in all, it's a rich environment. Um, the experiences uh, we had doing this, uh, we had some problems with the new technologies we encountered. Um, uh, 
uh, yes, but but in the end, after after the the work we put into them, we got some nice results. I mean, um, these Eclipse frameworks are quite difficult to master, but when, once you get a hang of them, you can get some really decent and good quality uh, programs. Uh, also, a big plus is, I'd say, the team, because we work in a relaxed atmosphere. Uh, all the meetings are uh, cool, and uh, everybody is, I think, enjoying them. Um, and also, I'd like to uh, emphasize the em em uh, eagerness to learn. Uh, whenever someone learned a new technology, he explained it to the others over uh, video conferences by sharing desktop. And I think uh, everybody understands, at least uh, to some extent, how the other parts are working. So now let's see those results. I'd like to show you uh, a live, live demo of the application. Okay, so this is the teacher's tool now. Uh, First, the teacher creates a new project. Um, for example, he wants to create a simple uh, computer architecture. Uh, then he defines a new diagram, default diagram. That's going to do. And now he selects a basic element. This is how we build, uh, build structures here. Uh, you can uh, give elements names, labels. Um, they can be moved, resized, reshaped. Um, we're going to stick to the basic uh, basic example we had in mind uh, from the beginning, the computer architecture with some uh, registers, uh, ALU, uh, memory, and so on. Uh, after we define the elements, we can connect them with sort of buses. Um, now we're going to add a memory block. It can be moved around, reshaped, and so on. Uh, we can connect it as well. Now, th this is all supported by, by the Eclipse graphical modeling framework. Uh, that's why the, the, it has some quite abstract functionality. You can select several items and move them around. Um, we also have this way to, to embed some elements inside the other. Now we can move them all around. And after we define this architecture, the teacher uh, can add comments to explain what he meant with the certain block, um, maybe give some additional instructions to students. They can also uh, be connected to blocks to um, make it more precise. precise. So th this is about it now. And after the teacher designed it in the graphical user interface, uh, in, in the background, all this is translated to XML. Uh, so w we can see all the blocks here now, register is memory and so on, and all the connection here. So yeah, this is a connection now from registers to ALU, and from memory, a connection to ALU. And this is the teacher's part. Now we move on to the student's tool. Uh, students mm, are supposed to write programs for this ar architecture. Uh, for now, we only did the editing environment, uh, still not the r running and debugging environment. So we're going to go through the editing part. Uh, once again, the student makes a project. Uh, he adds a new file with an extension .assembly uh, for, for our simple assembly language with three commands. We open our uh, perspective. And here we have the in interactive editor. Uh, it offers full, full auto completion and syntax highlighting. We can choose from commands here. 
uh, let's say he wants to do some simple operation with registers and he doesn't know how it works. So first he inputs something and he gets an error, uh, a red mark and an explanation what's happening. Because we don't hear you. Uh -huh. Yes. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, sorry for the delay. What's happening? Can Zagreb continue now? Okay, okay. So yeah, we have some errors here now. First we try to input a register, but the program language ex expects a memory location, so we corrected it now. And the other operator is a register. Uh, now we're going to repeat this a few times to, to load uh, more variables. And after that, let's say we want to make an addition. Uh, so first we, we do something wrong, of course, to show off. Uh, so as a last operator, we, we put in a memory location. Again, the environment is complaining. It gave us a red mark and said, oh, we're expecting a register. So OK, we, we, the student now knows I need to fix this. Uh, and last, uh, we store the result, uh, again, auto-completion, and now we know the procedure, so we do it right from the beginning. Uh, so this is, this is the student project now, uh, program now. Uh, that concludes the demo for now. Um, in the future, we're going to fully focus on the third part, on running, running and debugging this. Uh, these programs so that the student can actually see the architecture the teacher built for him and see the effects. So thank you for your attention and that's all. Any questions? Okay, thank you. I, I have some questions. Yes. Uh, so uh, you said that you divided uh, your work in three parts. Uh, two. Teacher, uh, students, you have this slide on, I don't remember the page number. And in the middle. Uh -huh. uh, well, I, I, when I was showing the architecture, I said that we divided the team in two parts. Uh, each team exactly. attacked the problem from one side. Okay, so my question is, uh, how did you divide? Who is uh, working uh, in which team? Yes, I understand. So one team, the, the GMF team, uh, is doing this part. Uh, that's that's uh, Prashanta, Sarah, and me. So we made mixed pairs. Um, we started from this side, making the teacher's tool, and the other part, uh, Vedran, Iliriana, and Peter, they started with the program editing problem um, and yeah now now in the next next period we have to we're gonna have to work together to connect all, uh, both parts mm -hmm. okay so how, how is going with your communication because you have like two groups and both groups are uh, distributed mm -hmm. I think that's okay well well yeah we have regular status updates uh, on Fridays. Uh, we meet over Skype to exchange experiences, problems, and if someone in one of the teams has problems, the others show, um, share desktops and make some tutorials and so on to, to help the other, other teammates. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. And uh, what are the next steps in your development? The next step is the, is the middle part. So the debugging environment that's going to have to somehow embed the uh, diagram and going to give uh, the student chances uh, to like go through his program step by step and see what's going on, uh, what, what, what architecture block is being used for each command. Okay. Okay. Thank okay. you. Uh, and just another question. You, you have shown like uh, the load of uh, the group and uh, how many hours you worked. Uh, yes. I would like just to ask you how is the distribution between the students? Is that working okay? Uh, yeah, it's going okay. I didn't emphasize it because it's uh, mostly equally distributed. Okay, okay. Okay, thank you from my side. Thank you. Any further questions? I have one question about the, the GMF. Mm -hmm. so Eclipse is quite a 
complex tool. So how many hours did you need? And uh, is it are you done with uh, the GMF? Um, and, uh, we're not done. Uh, we didn't focus on fully uh, finishing any of these parts. So yeah, we we, we did the uh, did require a lot of time for us to uh, go through GMF. Uh, but there's a lot of documentation, uh, documentation online. Our project supervisor gave us uh, additional materials, so we had uh, enough time to learn it and to do this uh, for first, like alpha alpha version of the uh, diagram editor. Okay, thank you. Any more questions? One question from, from Zagreb. Are, are you confident that you know the technology well enough to, to be able to you know, do the next step and, and finish? Because now, now we have just an introductory editors and everything, but, but we need to, to enhance them a lot. Yes, yes. Uh, the the next the question, we didn't hear it. Uh, okay. Uh, so the question is, uh, are we confident enough in our skills that we're going to be able to develop the next part since it's... Uh, Quite difficult. Uh, yes, we, we uh, are aware that the debugging part is going to be hard. Uh, it's going to require a deeper knowledge of the Eclipse architecture, so we're probably going to have some problems here. Uh, but then again, all six of, the, six of us are probably going to focus on that now, uh, each doing his own little part, so I hope we'll be ab able to overcome any problems. Is that all? Okay, thank you. Okay, in the meantime, do, do you hear us now with this microphone, Sweden?